Alright, time for round two to play through this whole game. No, I'm just kidding. Hello everyone, welcome back to Golden Sun. My name is Dario. Um, in the last episode, we beat the game. We actually pretty much did everything we possibly could do. And if we go to the menu now, we just have two options. Just do a race and battle. Um, okay, so we're back on the world map of Golden Sun. Um, no, I didn't plug in a Game Boy Advance accessory of a mouse. Um, I'm actually doing this on emulator. Uh, this particular part and there's a reason for it and I kind of just put it in the the usual window just so it looks more uniform with the rest of the, the playthrough um, but and I also I apologize I don't know why the screen like the world map is like jittering the way it does but um, anyways <laughs> in case you just saw I just ran over some water but uh, the reason I'm on emulator is because I wanted to use some game shark or code breaker codes to do stuff like this <laughs> hopping on top of stuff and walking through walls. Um, I was actually doing this as part of an experiment because uh, I think about a month ago, some I saw someone post an image of uh, the, the town of Vale in Golden Sun. And the thing about the, the map, though, is that it showed areas that you're actually not able to go to. And I'm going to show it on screen while I'm running through walls and hopping up on cliffs. But yeah, it shows areas of Vale that you normally weren't able to get to. So it got me really curious if they're actually there or maybe that's just a fan-made map. So spoiler alert as I, you know, you know, I'm already spoiling the rest of this, but uh, no, there's there's no way to show it in game like those areas on the map that I just showed. Um, but still, I just wanted to disprove myself there. <laughs> you saw Isaac there with grass for a face. But um, I never really mess around with Game Shark stuff or codes or anything like that, so I thought this would be a fun little bonus episode to do. And uh, so yeah, um, here's me, Isaac, doing his best Jesus impression. Um, and obviously, walking through walls kind of creates some some kind of madness. Like for here, remember this guy? He wouldn't let us go through. Well, screw him. Although they actually, I guess, thought about that because they locked the door to Soul Sanctum. So. Yeah, I'm just getting to have fun, and this, yeah, that's kind of the fun thing about Game Shark and, and that kind of stuff is that, you know, I, one of the big things I talked about the series, if anyone remembers, which they should because I always talked about it, was like seeing a place, like, and wanting to go there, like, so right there I just went down off the cliffs, like, you always see that area, but you never go there, so, and uh, obviously a lot of this stuff isn't fully textured because they never imagined people to, to make it here, so... It's just kind of fun to poke around and, and have fun with that. Um, and it also gives me a chance to talk about uh, the previous episode because uh, that battle with the fusion, with Satros Minardi and the fusion dragon, like, whoa. Uh, uh, I, I just recorded that just just not too long ago. And um, it's still, I'm still kind of like amazed how well that battle went. I, I, I feel bad during the recording to say like oh, that that was so easy. Because I usually don't like final battles being so easy, but it kind of was. Like I don't know what happened. Like I was level 26 and I and I beat them pretty easily. Like I've had I've had at least my characters die while level 28 or hell even level 30. Uh, they would still cause some trouble, but I guess I really did just play the battle pretty smartly and and also got lucky that they didn't you know use uh, the break ability to remove my my uh, you know. Uh, ability you know enhancements you know power-ups or anything so yeah i'm really glad with how that battle turned out so another cheat i also activated in this video <laughs> is uh running through the world map so uh going back to that line of thought of going to areas you never see well here's this whole forest that you normally just get to see little snippets of but you never get to go there and so here i am i'm i'm finally there uh, I turned off. I also have another cheat where I turned off all the encounters, so um, I'm not gonna run into any wild battles. But I presume it's there's nothing much special. Like I, I would just assume that it's just uh, the same enemies you fight on the overworld. I don't think there's like a hidden boss out here, but who knows? Maybe there is. I never, we'll never find out. But yeah, this is all area that you never get a chance to look at, and um, they still textured. They textured quite a lot of it for stuff that you don't get to see, like this whole... I mean, you could barely see past to the left of the mountains right here. 
but they even went as far as beyond to do the other side too so good on them uh i kind of run into this cave because I, I lost track of where i was but this is alt miller cave which i think i do an overview like this is the farthest you can usually see like right here so good on them like um that yeah see i'm just showing off like that's normally how much you're able to see but and I just find it so funny how the walk through walls code like actually just like like it just like levitates just like over through them um, but there's actually something else I wanted to show off too so if we come up here uh, going towards a mill you see a mill is like on the world map too and I kind of just run into the cave just so that way I you know so everything like looks normal instead of just a blanket over everything um, I do this part to kind of orient myself, and also, if you can't tell, I'm doing post-commentary here because, uh, this was me just, you know, fooling around a little bit. But if you come all the way to the left, and also, so by the way, this really shocked me. If you come all the way to the left, this is Crossbone Isle. So Crossbone Isle does exist in the game, but it's to the left of a mill, so you, you see it's directly, like, west of it. But what surprised me was it was covered in snow, which... I realize the reason it's covered in snow is because according to the game like we just made it to you know the area the northern continent so instead of just doing the continent like under one blanket like it I guess replaces the whole graphic of the overworld but you never end up seeing it because like you can't really see over the mountains too well so uh, I do spend a quite a bit of time like toying around with this because um, here it is, like, the Winter Wonderland of Angara and Gondawan, like, uh, I never saw that anyone even talk about this. I think maybe it's been mentioned, but I completely forgot. So, this was a nice little treat for me to see, like, you know, a world map that I'm super duper familiar with, but, uh, but done up, you know, with the, the white graphic of snow. So it's really cool, like, I, I'm pretty sure there's, like, maybe a ROM hack out there that, you know, does like a winter wonderland version of golden sun but i i don't know it's just i i know it's not that amazing but i just find it so cool i know it's just a palette swap but still and um i came over to this uh, this area i think we're to the west of uh zion or zion or whatever the hell it was called um but i remember specifically in an episode like i i remember saying like oh like can you even get to that beach over there but and here i am i made it so i really just wanted to show that part off like you know i finally went there you know all those places that looked cool and i talked about so i decided to run into fuchin falls real quick just to show just to kind of demonstrate a little bit how easily you can break this game like so you could just phase through this guy and just just run through the whole dungeon essentially it's really cool um and like you can honestly have a whole fun playthrough of just using game shark codes to to sequence break the game that's what it's called when you kind of do things out of order because normally you're supposed to talk to the guy at the top i think master hama or whatever his name was and do that but no i was able to kind of bypass all of it which was really fun um but there's a reason aside from that reason i came here um just gonna skip uh skip ahead a little bit um just running around having some fun normally i don't think you'd even really see this the left side of fuchin falls so you know, get to have fun with it. Um, I'm assuming if you run off of the map too much, you'll break the game. So keep that in mind, I guess, if you do that yourself. But, you know, oh well. But one of the things I actually wanted to show off was, um, and I actually learned this while um, I saw this on a GameFAQs forum. But when I went through this area myself, uh, the sprite of the killer ape doesn't show. But if you watch here, you actually do see the overworld sprite of it. And I'll, sh and I'll overlay it with what happened in my playthrough, but it just shows the animation of the like the, the little explosions, and then it, the battle just starts. And apparently the reason it does that is because if you use force on one of the, the tree trunks right before the killer ape area, it for some reason like makes his uh, overworld sprite invisible. So why that happens who knows uh but it's a little fun fact that i just wanted to show that maybe a lot of people don't know about i mean hell i didn't even know about it actually coming up over here i decided to mess around with uh just showing more of the overworld with the blanket of snow on it 
Here you see vaults and lumpa. Um, just little neat things I just wanted to show. Just, I think for me especially, uh, as I was saying, it's, it's just really fun because, you know, I've seen this overworld map so many times, so to see it like under new, like uh, under a new palette, color pla palette is just really wild. I just, something, something cool about it. Well, <laughs> cool, get it, ice. Here's a little bit of the Gondawan area, just showing how it looks like with snow around it. Which is kind of funny because we're at the Venus Lighthouse and there's a bunch of, you know, ice and snow everywhere, mercury stuff. Uh, you can't really walk on the, the water right there, but I'm just doing it just to um, show you. And I think I go a little bit south here. Uh, this was Ida Jima, which is, you know, breaks off in the end of the game. But um, I was coming down here because you don't really get to see this area too much. Uh, like, this was where we did that cutscene with um, Yodum, in case you forgot. And then over here is actually, you can see glimpses of it, uh, but not a whole lot. In fact, I don't even know if you can see this whole grass area over here, really. So, it's it's really weird running around the whole world map, um, you know, with no borders, because you kind of, like, it almost gets disorienting, because you almost don't recognize, like, why did they put this here? Why is there so much? Like, like I'm not going to be all... The, you know, theorizing, saying like, oh, they originally planned that there was an area east of the, the, the Gondawan Bridge right there that you could explore. I mean, it's possible, maybe? That'd be really cool if there was, but there's no proof of that. I think it's just, you know, they just wanted to kind of like, they just want to make it look like a more natural world. But, actually, now that I think about it, it would have been cool if there was a whole little side area here. Uh, you know, make the game longer. Hell, I'd love it. So... I just wanted to show that off. So another fun little sequence break thing is that if we come over here, we see that uh, Sue, the guy who we lifted the boulder off his leg, uh, he's he talks to us as fine, but obviously we're not supposed to be over here. But funny, funny enough, if we come out of this wall, um, yeah, oh, she was Hama. Her name was Master Hama. But yeah, she because the sequence was supposed to happen with her here, like she still her dialogue box still appears so it's just really funny and I don't know if you could see it I don't know if you saw it but I, we don't have Ivan in the party like it's just Isaac and Garrett just running through the world um, but because the sequence has all four characters it forces them to to appear in your party so interestingly enough um, just you know just because you're able to walk through walls and stuff doesn't mean you can skip over a ton of things uh, every every possible thing uh, for example, like, you really can't get into the Mercury Lighthouse without Mia. Like, even the, the door barrier, you can't go behind it in any way. So, it's really interesting how some areas of the game are, are wide open and other ones are are blocked off even through cheating. Uh, maybe you're able to jump in there, like, if you use, like, a, a door warp code or something, like a level warp or thing, something like that. But walking through walls simply won't get you through. And running through Lump of Fortress here, we really don't need the, the cloak ball. We could just teleport or, you know, we could just go through the walls around these people. Um, I'm just doing this for fun. I really have no purpose, but it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a proper send off if we didn't come say bye to Lumpa, Donpas, and Dodompas, and Don Papa's damn family with the weird ass names. Uh, thankfully, we don't see their names on screen, but it's still him. I think I end up taking the, the tonic gin, just completely bypassing everything. Like there's, this is literally impossible to get so early in the game. Like there's so many different roadblocks, but yeah, here we are, we did it. Yeah, you can still move during when someone's talking to you, but as soon as you hit the A button, you're, uh, you're screwed because you're level one. And even as weak as this guy is, he still can kick your ass. So I teleported my way here to Tolby because I always wanted to bypass this long ass line. I think I even made mention of it, so here we go. And because you're normally not supposed to get here at this time, like, the game just doesn't know what to do, so it just plays that scene. Even though we don't have these people, which actually ends up kind of soft locking me. Uh, because I don't have these characters and the game's like requiring me to, to put them in a particular spot, um, the game actually. Uh, soft locks, which soft lock is a term to mean that 
Um, the game didn't like crash, but you're you're stuck in a scripted event that you can't get out of because you glitched or cheated or something. So if I come over here and I try to say I'm done cheering, it just goes back to Isaac because I'm supposed to have I, uh, Ivan and Mia here. See, it's it's showing Ivan in the party, but because I never actually got him, like it 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 just goes back to Isaac. So. I'm actually stuck here. There's nothing I can do. I can't hit start. I can't do anything. So I end up just having to reset the game. So something else I wanted to show off actually too was... Um, I, I made mention of this too way back in my playthrough. But you could actually go do the Mercury Lighthouse business first and then come with Mia to do Kalima Forest. And by doing that... Uh, Mia has her own little dialogue. I think she more or less just says the same of, the, says the same things, uh, Garrett and Ivan say, but they kind of just took some of her dialogue and handed it, uh, some of their dialogue and handed it to her, so. So that'll about do it for this bonus episode. Um, I don't really have a lot of bonus things to show because I actually did a lot of it in the playthrough, um, and I felt like I integrated it pretty well. Um, this was just kind of some, you know, bone, uh, things I weren't able to kind of fit in the, the regular playthrough. Um, there's probably a few more things I can show off, like, you know, winning at the slots to show those boots or, um, you know, other little challenges that people do. But this is a very beloved and popular game. And so many people, like, I, I, heck, I just even watched someone uh, a little while ago, they... They fought the fusion dragon at level one with only one party member with Garrett. It took them like two hours and they had to calculate all this stuff. It was nuts. I'll put a link to it or I'll show maybe a snippet of it, but it's absolutely nuts what they do. So um, people have done mods of this game to, to make it harder. People, all kinds of stuff. Um, I could, I could make a whole channel talking about golden sun, but obviously I'm not going to do that, but I just wanted to, do some bonus stuff, things I saw, thought that were kind of interesting about this game. Um, you know, normally I do, I end up doing a lot of Nintendo games, a lot of Nintendo consoles, uh, specifically the Nintendo 64. And I guess the last fun fact I'll give for this playthrough is that this game actually started out uh, intended for the Nintendo 64. Um, they had the idea around the year 2000, but by that point the N64 was winding down. So they decided to shift development on to the Game Boy because uh, you know Game Boy Advance was cheaper uh, than doing it on the GameCube uh, which is kind of interesting too because Earthbound 64 another RPG series was originally going to be on the N64 but later ended up coming out on Game Boy Advance so it makes me wonder how many Game Boy Advance games originally were conceived as as N64 titles um, so it's fun to imagine what this game would have been like if it if it did come out on that console but in any event, uh, I've been talking so much as I always do uh, for the last time. I know I said like the, the last time like for three videos now, but for real, this is it. Um, I, I'm done with Golden Sun and it's been a great journey. I, I've loved to play through this game again um, and I love being able to show it off to everyone. Uh, put it in a nice, neat as I could package to, to be able to watch for someone who may not have this game or want to play it on emulator. So I hope whoever watches this, whether it's a few days after this uploaded or years after it uploaded, I don't know, but thank you so much for watching, whether it's one video or all of them. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And um, I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the, the journey. And it's one of my favorite games ever and I'm glad to show it off. So, oh my God, I, I feel like a kid on the last day of school. Like I don't want to leave. <laughs> I don't want to leave, uh, but I do. So, anyways, I, this has gone on long enough. So, take care, everyone. And I will see you for whatever playthrough I do in the future. So, take care.